Now Sports chose to start on the CT side. They will be defending, but maybe attack is the best form of defense. Definitely is if you ask Oscar. I'm sure we'll see him around that connector position later on. But first, we'll see how they choose to defend the pistol. Stiko on the kit and smoke grenade. Calix will, be have, will have the grenades and the P250 on the Space Soldier's side. Everybody else on Kevlar. So the classic contact B. You walk all the way as far as you can before giving any cues away. And there it is. They'll start to make the march. And Stiko is sensibly getting out of sight, although he will not escape with his life. Dead in the shot. Oscar quickly gets Maxion in there as well. Luckily, though, Chris was able to find a pick from short whilst this was going on. So that does at least even the numbers up. But how do they get through these choke points? Oscar has a smoke. Where he puts it, could be key, but drops with a fast frag there, initiates the action. And it looks like the action will be controlled here by the likes of Paz, pushing the shot with a 3k, actually a 2k. Actually, no, if he does actually get 3, and it's 2 for Kalix as well. So good performance from Space Soldiers with the true, tried, and tested contact B. Space Soldiers, a team who took Virtus Pro to all five maps twice, trying to qualify for ECS League but each time they were usurped by the Poles. So we've seen many a Space Soldiers map. Good start for them. Curious to see how their uh, buy rounds will look on the T side, but first they need to get past the test of the Force buy. Chris J, the Scout God, will be wielding his favorite weapon. There'll be a bunch of pistols around him. Triple Mac 10 for Space Soldiers. Mirage is quite the open map, so uh, you definitely want some AKs there to balance the range. And you saw a brief, for a brief moment, the setup in for mouse ports. Sunny looking in underpass and also trying to avoid flashbangs top mid with Chris J holding his back. So they will hold position for the time being while Space Soldiers take it slow, looking for some mouse ports aggression. Yeah, I like how mouse ports did have the presence of mind to get a kit onto Chris J. And he has, well, he's, he's notorious with the scouts, so it's always fun to see him with that gun. And Space Soldier's playing it slow so far, and there's nothing much in the way of information for Mouse Sports to glean. As we see Space Soldiers finally deciding that A is the play for them to make to win the day, as they start to set themselves up with some smokes to make some clean entries. And we don't see Mouse Sports really moving a muscle yet, still in the same setup that they've been in the entire round. Yeah, Chris J did run towards B quickly, but went back towards jungle, and now makes his way towards CT. Rather than standing, standing his ground on jungle, Oscar in the shadow position will be taken down by a flying engine. We didn't take that out of the sky. The inverse default plant, you love to see it, gives the T's a much better situation for defending the opponent's plant, especially when CT hasn't been taken. Sunny's on the flank in the meantime. Stiko's got to try and hold, stay alive for the time being, but Major will take him down, leaving Rops and Chris J in a CT position. And they seem to be running away. Maybe repositioning towards jump position, but surely they're not going through this full space. Chris J will give up that fight. Nothing favorable for them. Rops can stand his ground. Great shot by Sunny in the meantime. Rops with the spam. But again, the inbox is full. That's a lovely shot from Chris J. But can he do more? No. The fun has come to an end, but perhaps Sunny will steal away this AK. Okay, this could be pretty big. We've seen exactly how scary Sunny can be with an AK. And he could be the difference maker, obviously. Mouse Wars are still in eco territory. So this AK could really help them out to get some additional damage into this round, a round in which they don't really want to invest. There is an argument for him to invest just ever so slightly, you know, a little bit more. And he will. He has a flashbang, he's got Kevlar. He has a helmet. And I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do with it. Obviously, uh, something that's very important for Mouse Wars to really get the aggression into full swing is having control of the economy. And this is something that's been denied. And interestingly, Space Soldiers have four Mac 10s. This will be a fast one straight up a ramp, straight into wave. Yeah, they need to close the distance immediately. Four Mac 10s on Mirage is a very unusual situation in any round. And uh, now they can really abuse that range. Just flying around the corners, but not checking in properly. Pads will get taken down. But we still can't expect much from this round from our sport. Sonny has a decision to make if he wants to commit to this AK, with this AK. And he did. And, uh... Away goes the AK. Not collected by the T side, it seems. Not rescued. Still got the three Mac 10s. But there we go. By time, Oscar on the AWP. I'm going to look at what kind of spawn he has. He has the best possible spawn, actually, to make a play towards mid. So we may get things off to a really quick start here. 
Yeah, he needs to... This is one of those situations, again, where we haven't seen Oscar get into the swing of things yet. He has one chance. If he messes it up, it seems at a big disadvantage. So he has to be good to go straight away in this one. He's got support there. I think Sonny made the jump across. Oscar, if he finds the time, he misses the shot there as he starts to peek with the flashbang. Santa Harris with the frag. Sonny gets the return kill, though, as he was in position to make sure that the trade was there at the very least. And engine continuing with the MAC-10, as we can see in the B apartments. And now this this is really interesting because Mouse Sports, sure, they went one for one in middle, but Space Soldiers don't control middle after that early altercation. So that is something that Mouse Sports can be happy about. And it's a problem for Space Soldiers to solve because where do they go right now? Soldiers just holding position. Major spotted somebody top mid, but he's in the red 10 HP. That, that Molotov might be enough. Is it placed perfectly? Oh, he's going to get barbecued. Or maybe he isn't. No Mangal for this round. Four on four. Stiko picked off. That's at the open B bomb site. Sonny might be in a position to flank, however, through the underpass, but he's got to be careful. Calix and Major are quite far away, although Major could come into play later on. But no, Chris J takes him out through CPL, and now Sonny. Is he going to get caught by Calix? Calix running to the site. This is a really weird situation in apartment, but that might give up Sonny's flank. Now they know where he is, but it is a three on two for Mouse Sports. And he's created some distraction. Now they have to take, they know that the Abamus is not safe. They can't take positions that are vulnerable to that spot. And this is presence. This is a lot of threat right now. This will create distraction for his teammates. They can play off of each other. Engine will take down Rops, giving his position away. Paz now is known also. That allows Sonny now to better understand where to move, how to take engagements. He is successful. There's the smoke. He tries to tap the defuse. Sonny with another one. And that's very important. As you can see, the bomb, if he had he died there, I don't think there's time for Chris J to save the round. Beautiful clutch from Sonny for the quad kill. And you can see he's happy about that one. I think Chris J had given up on it at that point because he was just running away. Chris J was on short and he was just running Whoa. to T-spawn, basically. So I think Sonny was like, I'm going for it. I'm in too deep. You know, he started singing the song and uh, I got the kills as well. So great stuff from Sonny. What a kill from Sonny. He is just a god on Mirage, isn't he? He's a god. Yep, absolutely. And this bodes very well. We saw Oscar, you know, having a bit of trouble in mid there, but Sonny has already shown us that he is here today to play. He keeps up that performance. You can see a very interesting game, and it's a fast round again. Oscar with the whiff, the drops to cover as the frag is returned there, as the engine will burn. And this is looking very troublesome here for Space Soldiers. They haven't got control of the site. They've lost three players. They're stuck with Sandwich as their most forward position. And they, there is a massive argument to go back at this point. They can't keep progressing to the site. They have to somehow find a way to safely retreat and reset the round, but Chris J will not allow this. Now Calix is committed into the play, to onto the A-bomb site to try to get some damage because he's one versus three and he's got to do something. There's one, but he is very weak. The double peak is good. Great communication from our sports and good, uh, good hold under a very fast pace. We needed to see the, the hero rotation. We needed the complexity versus very games rotation on Inferno at DreamHack from one site all the way to the other. That's what we needed. That's not what we got, though. It is not what we got. Space Soldiers will be buying once again. I'm curious to see what this buy will look like. Maybe they're keeping an eye on uh, how many CTs have survived the last two rounds. But it's been two per round, so there is an opportunity to break Mouse Sports in this round, which is Maybe a lot to do with the force buy we see from the T side here. Another thing too in these positions is that one of the objectives is they want to get a bomb plant because their loss bonus is accruing at this point. And we'll have to see if they're able to actually finish on a bomb plant at worst. And Chris J, beautiful flashbang that a team play is on point. We have seen time and time again how dominant Mouse Sports can be in that middle position. And that just does not change. And that is devastating because now Space Soldiers are down a man. And sure, they have some utility, but that's surely going to make their odds massively worse. Space Soldiers just backed away from the B-bomb site. Just after that, Stiko had a pop flash to see if anybody was in the uh, the deep apartments, and he saw nothing, but he and... Oh, okay. So based on that, it seems he's going to leave Oscar in the forward position with the AWP on apartments, and Stiko's going to rotate towards A. So that was enough information for Mouse Sports to make the correct play. They're going to have three, almost four people on the A site to take out the remainder of Space Soldiers, unless Space Soldiers can do something about this. Paz lining up a uh, smoke towards the jungle position. I think Kalex will be going for the stairs and engine towards the CT. So A with smokes, matchmaking style. Let's see how it goes. 
Yeah, we have Mouse Balls sort of playing a retake setup behind the smokes. They can wait them out, they can give up the plant, and they can just go for that full retake. But nice boost here onto Rops. That's going to be good for one as he falls back and away, but he's done his job for the time being. As it might be a gap there for Sunny should they push further forward. And Rops, oh my goodness, on top of the ticket box annihilates the attempt for a plant. That is devastating for space soldiers. Man like Rops. Rops is the problem that space soldiers need to solve. But they may have to wait for another crack at that one because it's eco territory for space soldiers. Two to three thousand dollars on average. A pistol here, a pistol there, but not much else for space soldiers. Would like to see at least a flashbang in a round such as this, but uh, no. There won't be any flashbangs or any grenades of any description. Just pistols. Two deagles. More interesting than the uh, the rest of the buy. So it will be a brute force play. Oscar, you can see he's got the sound cues he hears. He makes a call for his teammates and they throw the Molotov to isolate some of these players. And now it is a shooting gallery. The space soldiers being put in frames. Major making his way towards the connector area through the smoke. I don't think he's been detected, but again, not much for him to fight with. And Rops will shut him down again, leaving Kalex one versus three. Can he collect a weapon? Maybe not, but he does have a deagle. Nice. That's good damage. All things considered, three people killed. That is like uh, almost $18,000 taken away. It's really nice uh, shots there, but this is really cool because this is that kind of round where, okay, maybe if Oscar has had a bit of a slow start, okay, here's here's some free ones for you to sort of get yourself going a little bit, get that confidence, you know, running in there. And I, uh, I, Oscar, when he's fully confident, obviously is a very, very scary, scary guy. And Mousebots now with a, a very strong recovery. Their economy has been harmed significantly. So Space Soldiers, despite losing a few rounds in a row and not looking amazing, have done the relevant damage. But here is the man in question. And that's very scary. I mean, imagine seeing his head just pop up there. You don't want anything to do with middle. Yeah, that tower is like, nope. Oh, wow, Os down to 16. Oscar in full FPL mode. He's got uh, some help around the connector position. Chris J will make his exit. Love to see an aggressive CT side. Vega Squadron have shown us many, and now Mouseports are doing the same. This time, though, Space Soldiers have top mid and are slowly creeping towards bottom. However, they are a man down already. Major's in the red, and Sonny has a superior angle, so he may reset while the smoke dissipates. He's in a good position to avoid flashbangs that will come from top mid. Just like that. That from north will there be a trade oscar taken out sunny has not revealed his position just yet now they're less likely to check it sunny using good timing but for a second player and he's found him four versus three that's a really big play that massive bait setup for mouse force blown up by the likes of space Soldier. very good intuition now it's for the mouse force side is more Jewels are won by the Space Soldiers as they have now the control of the A site. And Chris J looking to just get some damage in, down to 19 points of health. The bomb plant is covered, and Chris does not want to push further afield for the attempt at a shot. So the A site. Instead, through the smoke, he'll die. And great round from Space Soldiers. There were a lot of very sinister traps that were laid by the Mouseport side there, but they managed to overcome every single one. And again, we, we can note how much damage was previously done by Space Soldiers to their economy, so it's a very timely uh, point to win the round. Four rounds apiece. Lots of instruction on the Space Soldiers side. They are facing us here in the studio. Lots of discussion. Talk about flashes and things. Santarez moving up. Ah. Okay, so, oh, I did wonder. So he threw the Molotov, the Molotov, but he can throw a jumping Molotov into CPL without showing CPL from a similar position. It is a running jumping Molotov. Very rare that you see it in professional Counter-Strike, but it is a thing. Two smokes in the apartment, and people have to wonder if some teams are closer than Major is suggesting with his harassment of the AK, but... Definitely, that will keep Seiko and Sunny entertained. So, look at the presence that uh, Space Soldiers have shown towards B. The bomb is towards A, with three players in total. And Major again offering the fake, and maybe Engine will be sacrificed to that to that fake a bit later on. Seiko and Sunny need to look for information fast, otherwise Rops could be in trouble. Even man like Rops. Yeah, it could get very, very dodgy very quickly. Space Soldiers are biding their time, however. 
making some noise though, not audible to Rops just yet, I don't think. And indeed, he will be isolated by the utility. Only a UMP and a flashbang. Better be the best flashbang he has. Timing needs to be perfect. Oh, that's a very good timing of the incendiary there. That could actually buy some time here, but Rops unable to get a frag. Now down to Oscar. Will anybody try to face him? He's not smoked off just yet. Oh, in the smoke! Oh, just barely misses that one. San Paris takes full advantage. And it's just two players left for Mouse Sports now. They are in a dire spot. Must be thinking of saving at this point. Oh my god, that was disgusting for San Paris. There will be no saving for Sonny. Stiko now running for dear life. So you saw the build of that round. Space soldiers making a lot of noise towards B. I think there was a CT smoke. I don't know. There were, I saw two smokes on the radar. One was in the middle where the window with the bars is, which would allow a T to get close if they wanted to. And there was one at the end of the balcony. They could have both been from space soldiers. At that point, mouse sports have no idea. <laughs> They managed to get on the balcony at some point with Stiko, but weren't willing to really go beyond that situation, which left uh, Stiko and Sunny very deep towards the B-bomb site because they didn't know what was going on there. So that was the the, uh, the early fake that Space Soldiers offered, and it held all the way to, I think it was Engine, making his way through the underpass towards Connector with the rest of them towards A. So that strat worked out nicely for Space Soldiers, and they take the lead. Five USPs. Mouse Sports click. I think four players have zero dollars in the real crowd. Chris had 100, so at least their money is synchronized. I suppose that's one thing. Not sure if that really makes much of a difference, but whatever. Okay, so just are just trying to be safe. They know that the eco is upon Mouse Sports. So no need to do anything rash or risky or overextend in any untoward manner. They can just play it together. And you can see so far they are just making sure they're safe in the early rounds before making a play together. Bearing in mind, Space Soldiers won the pistol and were not reset. You could consider it, uh, in terms of momentum and so on, like a 4-2 half at the moment in favor of Mouse Sports. Um, so once they get back on the buy, we'll see if they can have more of the success or if uh, Space Soldiers will start to take the game away from them, or at least the half. Again, Space Soldiers going to play the numbers game, actually walking into the stack, but it's the worst possible stack in that it's mere USPs. May take half a second though for Space Soldiers to identify where these shots are coming from. And that might be half a second too much, so there is an opportunity for Mouse Sports to make something of this, but of course it won't be easy, it's unlikely, it probably won't go well. Well there's the first one. Santaris gets his bell rung. Now we've got high ground advantage for Mouse Sports with an AK-47. Oscar in the shadow position, but they may not check this properly because they know someone's in Palace. Stiko trying to peek before they peek. So many distractions going on, and there it is. No one checking shadow position because of all the carnage going on, but it does get cleaned up eventually. Engine and Paz prevail. That's actually insane. Oscar could very well have gotten a 3k there. He, engine sort of obviously was on 5 HP and just managed to go past Oscar's crosshair. And that kind of shows you the power of the USP and the silencer. That's, uh, and this was pretty huge. Obviously, they know that the AK is in the palace and there was a Molotov down that Sonny just ran past. He picked up the smoke from the player he just killed and grabbed the AK from. And it's like, all right, just insta smoke this. And uh, that's that was the, the big problem there because obviously, if he had stayed alive in the apps, then maybe there's more opportunity potentially. But also, then maybe they clear shadow as well and maybe Oscar just dies. So there's, yeah. there's like a host of things that could have happened. and. Either way, Space Shoulders had a great execution with the with their Molotovs and so on, and they absolutely earned that round. I want to also credit Mouse Sports for their use of the USP because it's one thing that it's hard to identify when you're pushing a site and there are five USPs, but also bearing in mind the situation with Sonny on the high ground of the AK, Oscar in the shadow, Stiko's quite important as well. He starts peeking from the stairs position to run distraction before they start to look for Oscar, which makes them even less likely. It, it just kind of pulls them in as many directions as possible. So Mouse Sports really tried to exploit that as much as they could, which is important. Anyway, we've got a fast play from Space Soldiers. Rops around triple. He's got to do a lot of distraction. Will there be a Molotov coming his way? Not many grenades and uh, Space Soldiers are losing players. It will be a two-man spread out for Rops. There's Molotov finally, but maybe it's too late. Two versus three. Sunny hunting for Major. Major's been downgraded. Paz alone now. Doesn't have the bomb. Surrounded by mouse bots. Paz with eight HP. He's got an AK. He only requires one bullet. But then so does Oscar. Missing his first attempt, Oscar. But they have the information now. 
Paz knows where Oscar is. He doesn't know where Sonny is. In this situation, perhaps Sonny will be the first engager and Oscar will pop out to trade. Ideally, you'd want a rifler to be in that position, but uh, Oscar is normally dependable. Just went to check CT just in case. I'm not sure if Sonny has the right angle, and that might give Paz half a second, but no, Oscar comes back, and that will be that. Down the stairs will Paz slide. Last force back in it, and again, you know, with such a sort of shaky, wobbly economy, so important to you know, win rounds like that, but it's obviously not over just yet. There's plenty of cash for Space Soldiers to buy up with again to keep that pressure high. And Mouseports themselves, they're at a really big risk of being completely reset in their economy now. And their buy now has not even looked that amazing because they lost three players in that round. So it's a really cool timing for the tactical from Space Soldiers. You can see Major there leading the troops. Um, I, I keep forgetting to, to do the GoTV picks, Dan. I think when Space Soldiers go to the CT side, I would uh, I'd recommend watching Major. He's been fun to watch so far in this tournament. I don't think we'll see the kind of aggression from him here that we have seen on, say, Overpass, but it will still be interesting. And for the time being, uh, Zantara is always a good one to watch on the Space Soldiers side. And I'd say, I'd say Rops for Mouseport CT. Oscar's often a good one, but uh, he's somewhat quiet for the time being, so I would suggest keeping an eye on how Rops tries to defend at the A site. But first it's mid, which uh, Mouse Sports need to decide, do we defend this or do we give it up? Okay. Around many smokes in the CPL position, Sonny and Oscar quite enjoy their connector time. So let's see what Space Soldiers do with this. They've got Calyx alone towards A. The bomb's in the apartments at the moment where Engine is, and he's being joined by some teammates. Still trying to make sure they can control middle. Now sports, the presence is strong there. And it does give you a lot of information as these CTs, especially based on the information gathering going on towards the A or B site, because it sort of helps you to really confirm where the T side players are playing from. Major has just smoked CTA from mid. Calyx is making a play. It's another fake. There are three smokes on A deployed by Space Soldiers and Calyx is selling the fake and again there are only two people in the B bomb site. It's going to work out for them though. They've got the first kill. Stiko under the window can't do anything and Major will get picked off in the meantime and now Calyx can rotate top mid and try and cut off Sunny. Stiko's not having the best of it so far. Anchoring that B bomb site. Now down to retake it. Calyx. Ooh, the spray. Sunny just ducking behind cover repeatedly there. Eventually successful. Ooh, there it is. Santaris coming in for a piece of the action to take down Sunny. But perhaps they will not know about Rops. Are they still going for this? It's very difficult. No. Abandoning the efforts. And there's a sensible decision. And again, the reset situation is real. This is very hard for Mouseports now. For them to come back into this half. And we'll have to see what they decide to do with the with those safe weapons, whether or not they'll buy around them. Or if they'll go for a save around them. I mean, Oscar does have an AWP, so, and they are always aggressive in the middle anyway, so pretty decent argument to just force it up with these guns they've saved. That was a, a really interesting round, especially the mid-battle. Space Soldiers show presence in the middle area, but then Mouseports seem to... I, I don't know if Mouseports have a read that uh, Space Soldiers don't often stay in mid, the way Chris J was quite confident to peek in uh, from the short position and Molotov the back of mid. And then Major can see that. And I was wondering, are they going to try and show that there are people there or what? But he's just busy throwing a smoke towards CT to uh, do the fake with Calyx. So lots of fakes coming out for the Space Soldiers side and they enjoy a two round lead for the time being. Forced by from Mouseport, Stiko on the UMP, Chris J on the scout. Yeah, they're having a lot of success towards B. Stiko is having not, not a very good game. He's only got two kills at the moment. And, ooh, well, I mean, you can't blame him too much for that one. What a stunning shot there from Zantares. And that's a freebie bomb site. And you know what? They're going to have to just probably save. No one has, well, ma just Major has died. There is still loads of utility, but there's a free one. Maybe a chance has been offered up here. Oscar, what else can he find from this position as he emerges from the doorway of the shop? And with the peak from Sunny as well, maybe, just maybe, Mouseballs can get something else. They can go for this. There it is. Push comes in. Has no defending. Looking quite strong. And that's it. Shut down. Oscar and Rops don't like the look of this. They're going to have to fall back and save these guns. Not working out for Mouseballs. That entry from Zantares is absolutely disgusting. You have to feel for Stiko. 
He's not. He's only had you know two or three opportunities to defend the B site. They have not gone well, and in this attempt, just gets just shot in just in the head straight away by Zantara playing super aggressively. That is that's that is really impressive. Yeah, but you you have to be careful with the with the arc of your jump because if you jump that high, for a professional player, it is uh, easier than it than it might otherwise be. If you jump earlier, then you can. The, the apex of your jump can be before you peak so you, as you're going down. So you're less exposed. Can't help. Maybe he would have been shot in the face anyway, but you've got to be careful. So all mouse sports have is what they saved in the previous round. They may go into the second half with only five rounds. But there's one more to come. One more that they've saved for. Oscar with a forward position already. And Zantarez is in for a nasty surprise. And they don't really know at this point Space Soldiers, if Mouse Sports have forced around these two saved weapons. So it's not even that Oscar's on B, let's rush A, or anything like that, because who knows what else lies in wait for them. And Oscar's rotating all the way to A, and he's going to make it to ramp as these smokes come in. Yeah, very tiny rotation. Oscar, the power player, of course, Rops is close with the AK. There's another one from Oscar. This is now a very good situation. The P250 ringing true there for Sunny as two quick kills come in response from Space Soldiers, but they are just too alive now and they need to get the bomb planted. The smokes, they have bloomed. They are providing cover currently, but at the same time, they don't know where the AWP necessarily is. I'm not sure if it was dropped in a forward position. In fact, it looks like it was. Oscar made a play through. So it's down to the AK-47s of Mouse Sports. Look how Space Soldiers are taking this very diligently here, trying to do what they can to make it as safe as possible. That's brilliant work from them. Just leaving the P250 Astico. Surely he can't do this with just a P250. In for the shots. Too long for Stiko to try to make that work. Maybe there was a chance, but he needed to get a little bit lucky, and Stiko was not. Space Soldiers are hyped. They were really happy about that one. Good job from our sports. Why those smokes were down? Chris J had the presence of mind to just check the chair position in mid, make sure nobody was uh, there. And then they were safe to assume that two, the final two people were on the A site. And here we go, back on the buy, no AWP remaining for Oscar. Stiko on the FAMAS now. It's been, uh, it's turned out to be a difficult half for Mouse Sports. Oscar and Chris J aggressive in mid once again. And Space Soldiers as usual, looking for it. Paz, maybe better equipped ready for these fools that is a very good start to the last round of the first half one minute 30 for space soldiers to do pretty much whatever they please in a position to be trying to get some damage done get some information but it's a one for one not ideal here for mouse sports really needed the second kill but perhaps rops can provide it as he Engine will dart onto the B-bomb site. He's the only one, though. It makes its way towards A. It's all a ruse. But will Sonny work it out? Probably will. Rops has. Information's there. Sonny hears the footsteps. Sees one player. He's in pass, but Kalex is watching for the stairs. And now it's on to Rops. Two kills already, but he has to be four here if Mouse Sports want to win the last round of the first half. And here he goes, straight into the ticket. No qualms about it. Straight into the action. Rops is confident. AK's out, but Paz is the one with the shot to win the half. 10-5 for Space Soldiers. Brilliant T-side from them. I have to say, though, at the end there, when Rops got the kill in CT, he actually faked the death cam by running towards uh, running towards the crawl space for a second and running towards CT, which is why Kalix was positioned behind triple because he was expecting Rops to come in from the jungle position. So that was a really nice fake there at the end from Rops. Presence of mind on that young lad is absolutely ridiculous regardless of whether he gets a clutch or not. You've got to give him credit for the nutty things he continuously does. 10 to 5, though. Space Soldiers in a great position. The drill sergeant. It's quite funny, you know, in interviews, he looks quite, well, sorry, I wouldn't say necessarily timid, but or shy or something, but, you know, just kind of, just very reserved. But then <laughs> it just is the drill sergeant when leading his team. It's uh, awesome to see. And obviously the direction that he has been providing, providing his team has been working out wonderfully well for them so far. But now they are on the defense and it's Mouse Force's time to go for the B-Rush on the pistol. Will it work for them as it did for Space Soldiers? I'm not sure. Space Soldiers are in position.
position two from Major, leading by example. Now, Paz, oh man, that is not a good result there for Mouse. But Paz keeps going though, there's just one left, Oscar, and he's gonna get annihilated by Kalix and Mouse Force. They hope for more, James. They got absolutely crushed. I do wonder now if the pressure is starting to mount on Mouse Sports. I remember when they were a map up against FaZe at ETS Finals and they didn't manage to close it out 2-0. I remember the faces and I do wonder if that kind of psyche is coming in now because they probably feel like they should be in a better situation overall at this point of the tournament. But here they are, 11-5 to five down versus Space Soldiers. Space Soldiers who have now taken both pistols. That puts them in a very strong situation. The full spy from Mouse Sports is in. Oscar's leaving himself AWP money, but the rest of it has been spent in the candy shop. Looking to give uh, Space Soldiers a sugar overdose. Kalix and Engine playing max range on the A site, not giving up much. Paz going to be the forward man on short in case we split towards A. Aware of the presence, you can hear the comms of Space Soldiers. A lot of information flowing in. Trying to jump up, but sliding down. Three pistolers remain. Sonny's made his way into the ladder room, but our sport still may not get much out of this. Yeah, it's a really tough spot. It's been controlled well so far by Space Soldiers, but you never know when the Deagles are in play. Steeko and Sonny trying to find angles here, but again, this, this is a Space Soldiers who are playing very disciplined. They understand there's no need to peak mid. Why, why bother giving a, you know, a jewel? to mouse sports when they have to go to you. They have to go through horrible choke points. Just wait for that, and that's what they're doing. That said, Sonny with a very nice peek there into said choke point, taking down Major. What else can he do? Oh, it's the timing there for Sonny. You've got to feel bad for him as Paz looks to hold down the B bomb site. So far, so good. Holding, looking to try to buy time. There's another one from Steeko this time, but it's just drops, and he'll get a dink, but Kalix will finish him off. So even though Space Soldiers played it very correctly, it still... There were still some scares, scares for them there. This is the round Space Soldiers need maximum one loss. Mouse Sports can barely afford anything. Maybe maybe one pop flash. Rush B, try and get the bomb down, hope for the best. Ring in a prayer. It will be the odd pistol, and I mean the odd pistol. They really don't have cash. The road is going to have the nastiest incline from our sports, should they be able to recover? It's on the AFK in spawn at the moment. And now he's on the move. Majors taking a forward position in B apartments with a flashbang from a teammate as well. There's a really nice pop flash you can throw from next to the window. I made a video of a, of a Cloud9 pistol strat. There's two great flashbangs. Look it up because uh, it is very strong especially on a pistol round or when you think there's a force by Russian to be. They will be blind. <laughs> Goodbye, Oscar. Oh, dear. Nothing you can do. That's looking good here on the short position. He's looking to finish off the round. And there's two more players to go from our sports. Found their way into wave. But again, you have to respect the discipline here from Space Soldiers. They are playing so passively. They're forcing Mouse Sports into horrible 1v1s. And that's how you need to play these rounds on the CT side. You see a lot of teams taking gratuitous peaks, you know, in spots where you can just really make it feel impossible. And that's what Space Soldiers are doing. It doing. They're making it impossible for Mouse Sports in those rounds to do anything. That said, we're now back into the business. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is Major's name Engine? Is that real? I swear, I just said that Major's name is Engine. Lots of commands on the Space Soldiers side. Oh, they're going for a push of their own. Oh, Mouse Bot's gonna be ready for it. I don't think they, okay, Oscar's alive. So they are. The flashbang's there as well. Zantares is in trouble, but they're not checking for his position. Sonny goes down. He's doing massive damage, Zantares. Down to the three on three. One minute 35 and the bomb has not been seen. 3v3 could get awkward here for Space Soldiers. Finally, it could be a spot for Mouse Bot's can get something going for themselves. Rop's leading the push now, walking as far as he can in towards the A site, but once again, Space Soldiers playing very reserved, trying to play for the sure things here. They'll give up some space towards the A site, but that's okay. They want to allow Mouse Sports to show their hand before they play theirs. And there's the smoke onto A. 
and the rotation from all the players of Space Soldiers will start to come in. The best guns here, but the plot was not favorable. The trade is at least there from Rops and the cover coming in as well from the high ground. It's going to help out Mouse Balls, and they still have plenty of time for this as well. That bomb is not in a favorable position for Mouse Balls. It is exposed to Space Soldiers. There's one flash on Mouse Balls, but Chris J will slip past the angles and try to make it a lot more favorable for them. Major trying to pop out at the right time of the UFP, but it won't work out for him. Paz facing, Paz taking it in the face. So Mouse Sports will win one, and suddenly Space Soldiers are quiet. So Major's name is Engine, and Engine's name is Engine. So I guess Engine got there before Engine did. That is, I, that's, that's really interesting, isn't it? Well. I just definitely did, I didn't notice that. That's interesting. Either way, space soldiers still have some cash. They are deciding actually to go for the save. They want to maximize the amount of full buy rounds they have, and that is a sensible play. For the love, sensible plays. And that said, they're both very dangerous here. They've got Beagles out, two CZs as well, smoke and flash onto Major. So plays to be made. Our sports must take care. Oh, that could have been really bad for Sonny. Able to respond, though. 41 health for him, so still relatively healthy. Now, the frag in the B apartments for Chris J as they start to whittle down the space soldiers half by, but still, danger lurks around every corner, perhaps, as two Deagles and a CZ remain on the space soldiers. Mouse sports must not lose their nerve in this situation. Slowly gathering together to make their way into the club to get past the bouncer. And this time the bouncer will be Calix. Space Soldier starting to rotate towards A, it seems. Santares with the Deagle has left the B bomb site, and Engine is slowly creeping up mid, and Sonny's there as well. Push, almost two for Calix. He's done damage. Can Zantares capitalize? He is on his own now. Rops and Sonny are vulnerable to the beat shots. Santares, though, getting picked off by the vultures on mouse bots, closing the gap. I love how Space Soldiers are bringing such a good level of play to this game, like showing that they have the aggression, they have the defense, you know, the, the, the discipline to play, to make the right calls, but also the understanding of when to unleash Santaris, you know, when to really get the individual plays in there as well. Like, we're seeing such a great level from both teams, and it's just such a joy to watch. It's quite the comeback that needs to be mounted here for Mouse Sports, and a double up setup could be the difference maker here for Space Soldiers. Will Mouse Sports have the right round to deal with this, or will this surprise undo them as they start to line up for a quick A play? Rops makes his way towards top mid. Santares, though, he's abandoned. He's already going to the position. Engine with a nasty surprise. Oscar will trade, but it's more to do, and Oscar will do it. Three on three, Sticko, two HP, though. Paz keeping an eye on the short position. Flashbang hasn't gone on his post. He's getting shot through the box. Trouble for both teams. This could quickly go either way. Rops may be stuck in the connector position. Paz makes his way through from short into the CPL area. But Rops doesn't know that just yet, so he's kind of stuck at the moment, waiting for a CT, which will not appear. That almost gives Space Soldiers an extra man in this three-on-three. Three. Yeah, this is really tense. There's so much time on the clock that there is a real possibility, as far as Space Soldiers are concerned, that they could be going B. And so this is why holding and cutting noise is very important for Mouse Sports, because it can effectively allow them to be against less players, as we can see. Paz is clearing underpass, and he's going to wrap his way around. He jumped out of the window and Rops heard him, but Rops doesn't necessarily know that he's making his way towards B. But Rops is starting to wander. Paz is confirming this very soon. Mouse Sports need to make a move. But when will they go? They're waiting for Rops maybe to get the kill. Rops has probably given them that info, but now the info is just it's too long since that info was uh, maintained, and now they need to actually go for the play, and it's Steeko to a mix up, but there's Major from the same position. Oscar, can he defend this? He's the man that can really scare him away, and there it's actually Rops going for the flank. Beautiful play there into CT. And now it's down to Paz in the 1v2 after plant. Presence of mind from Oscar to plant for default. If Paz was faster than that could have been worse, but they know where he could be in the flashbangs. Perfect. Paz fires the gun, gives his position away. Now the grenades start to rain in. No more nades though for the T side. Rops dancing through the smoke. Paz flashing high, trying to get Oscar as well, trying to make his way towards default. And he managed to get the one versus one, but he's doing 180. He's looking for a 360, Dan. It's not MLG, it's E League. Not going to work out for him this time. <laughs> yeah, this, I have to say, I love the smoke there because 
with the smoke that he threw towards the jungle position, effectively what, what he's doing is he's blowing up the crossfire setup that Oscar's playing with Rops because essentially Oscar's never going to peek there. Rops can watch the cross and then, you know, basically if you know, he peeks and kills uh, Rops, Oscar gets, you know, peeks and gets the kill. So by throwing the smoke, he disconnects their setup. So he forces Rops or, or Oscar to make a play and potentially that's a 1v1 for him. So just to, you know, just to show that these players under huge pressure are still very smart. And I love these flashbangs into mid to try to blind any oncoming players, but now Mouse Sports, they're in a position, James, where finally they could maybe make a comeback. Engine really hungry for information on ramp. I forget who can see whose legs first when the T is on the balcony there. On a ramp, that is. Sonny making his way into connector, avoiding the darts being thrown by space soldiers. Don't really have much to fight with in this round. Got to get on there, Eric Bristow. Engine and Kalex, oh look at the rotation. There's going to be four people in the A site and it looks like Mouseport might just play into the stack. Sunny might be the information man though. Is it going to be a B split instead? Or oh, it might be if they're fast enough, but they're meticulously trying to check everything. Sunny wondering what's going on, not seeing anybody, but he hears the rotation now. And that's going to be the call that it's a good, a good place to go be. Yeah, it's really good here. Sunny just cleaning house. It's a 1v5 for him on the A bomb site, whilst everybody else can just chill towards the B bomb site. He will eventually die, but he's got the info for his team. And Rops is <laughs> playing by the smoke here. Very sneaky stuff. Does see, I think, a top player crossing, but they are probably looking to save that AK. And they did pick up a flashbang as well, so an additional $200 of value from that too to be saved into the next round. Mouse Sports, there's not really much of an argument for them to go pushing for, for the kills here. They still want to be looking after their own economy. But it's early days in this comeback. Paz is the man. 26 kills at the moment. Using Jedi Mind Tricks, Dan. I was, gonna, I was, you know, I was thinking of how I could bring Jedi Mind Tricks in, but you, you beat me to it. I was thinking about that earlier as well. Uh, Good, great. Um, now I've been beaten. I'm sad now. I can't use that. Don't be sad, Dan. There is more common things going. And maybe more space soldiers. Maybe more space soldiers, although Rops doesn't want there to be. Eliminating all but one. But it's a new dawn, it's a new day. And space soldiers are back with another buy. But first it will be a tactical timer, a breather to drink some red juice, apparently. <laughs> right. This is a very good timing for it, you know, break up the momentum a little bit of Mouse Sports who are on a streak. And make sure that you can sort of nail down the best approach from the CT side. And there's so many options on the CT side. Mouse Sports have shown that they are quite prepared to deal with middle, to take middle, and to send Oscar middle to make sure that it's a, a sure thing. And that's so far that's been, that's been something that has worked for Mouse Sports and opened up a lot of options for them. Middle does seem to be something that they're very good at. And are Space Soldiers going to decide to play very passively, or do they actually want to go for those challenges? That really is the question that I have. Uh, and now we will have that be answered. And Sunny goes straight for it. Uh, just a peek from Xantaris, just information. So no real challenge here on mid from Space Soldiers. Late flashbangs from our sports. They will fire some bullets the way of Xantaris, and he will vacate the premises for the time being. Chris Jay through the underpass. Four players in the middle position for Mouse Sports. Expecting a fight from one team to come out on top. There are four players in A for Space Soldiers. Major, no AWP, but he is in, well, on the balcony position. In the app, not really holding an angle. There was a smoke there, but it's gone now. So perhaps he will peek. He has no flash to peek. I bet he would love one right now. So maybe he'll try and keep it safe with an off angle. Four players remain in mid for Mouse Sports. Waiting for Smokes to go. Taking Connector very, very carefully indeed. We've reached the minute mark. And Rops is starting to move into Palace. The bomb in Connector itself. Seiko and Oscar on short. Perhaps they'll offer a fake towards me. And right now, Mouse Sports have almost no utility left. They've used all of it. Taking middle, taking positions. Nice shot from Rops, though. 
Eliminating engine on the AP. Oh, there, there, that might be a surprise. Zantaris tries to move faster. Smoke. The timing is fantastic from Zantaris. Looks for the third one. It's a 2v1 here. Steco. Again, not being having the best of it on the first half, but this could be the difference maker. Could be redemption for Steco as he pushes into the crossfire and is lit up by the remainder of Space Soldiers as they go 14 to 9. And it's going to start getting a little bit sweaty over in the Mouse Sports camp, James, because it might soon be over for them. Clammy hand time is upon us. Mouse Sports still have a bye despite their difficulty. So many people in that connector position, but Space Soldiers have used the choke point Xantares on land. Five round lead now for Space Soldiers, so close. So many predictions, maybe on the cusp of getting bodied. Sonny and Stiko, top mid. Sonny quickly moving towards Connector. So a faster play from Mouse Sports this time, and they've got three people towards A ramp. Oh, does he walk through this? Could be a massive play. Oh, he's gotten onto the stairs. This is huge. Kalix knew nothing about that. Zantara is not in position to cover it. The distraction from that gives Chris J a chance at it. Now there's the trade from Sonny. They have the A site. Beautiful plays from him. And it all collapses like a house of cards there. As Sonny looks for more here, finds Major. He's going to eat him up as well. What else is there for Sonny to have in this round? Paz, the only white man left. Looking to save the AK if he possibly can, but it could be an onslaught. Coming his way. They've got no money. They've got no money, Dan. They've got no money. They bought a washing machine on eBay, and all they got was a box full of bricks. No receipt, no refunds. They've got nothing to show in this round for their best efforts. Fast round from Mousebox, a fast response, and they've broken Space Soldiers. I think Chris J's sec the second kill there, I think he was from the palace position and he just sprayed through the floor to the shadow area to get that kill. And that's a massive kill on during that push. Perhaps we'll see it. There's the first one from Sonny. Just catch it. You, I think you're right because they're looking at the minimap. I think I think you're correct. It was it was a beautiful series of moments and it really shows you what Counter-Strike can be about. And moments of distraction can open up all kinds of possibilities when you're on the attacking side. Space Soldiers have chosen to force fight. They have a four-round lead. Saves must be had anyway, so they will uh, choose aggression. See how Mouthports are able to deal with this. Sonny, not really best equipped for that duel. Xantares is searching, and Xantares is finding. Use that smoke for some protection and he manages to escape. Great play there by Space Soldiers. Being very active, Paz rotating towards the B site. Chris J backing off from B. In the meantime, we've got trades elsewhere. Santaris is down. One minute, 10 on the clock. Space Soldiers need to figure out what's going on. Well, they are going to the bomb sites where there's two CZs, our mouse sports. After they lost Rops. There's no need to track across the rest of the map. Just go for it, and they will. And that position from Engine could be very dangerous indeed. As he's sitting up on the box, and there it is. Gets the first frag there, and Chris J is going for the trades. That's brilliant from him, but now everything rests on Oscar and his shoulders. What can he bring to bear in this round? Deagle out, spots one. Very awkward. Oscar, though, maintains composure, goes for the plant. Just fakes it out though. Can he bait a peek here from Major? The 1v1, incredibly crucial here for Oscar to win this for Mouse Sports. They're up against it, and Major now puts Oscar's cold dead body straight on the floor. Beautiful stuff from Space Soldiers. Space Soldiers really bringing the pain when they need to. That's a great one dig from Oscar, but uh, post plant, very difficult position for him to get out of. Look at the cover for Major. You almost expect Oscar to go with the AWP. But uh, there it is, match point for, for Space Soldiers. They are in a massive position at the moment, and uh, this doesn't bode well for the money on Mouse Sports. Tension runs high here for Mouse Sports. One round is the margin of error. Well, there is no margin of error. 
I think we're just going to go B. This is a very, very different. This could work out major. He might get caught off guard here. There is a flash there, though, from a teammate. This could work out. Major misses the flick shot. There maybe is an opening now. Paz, only man to defend here. If Mouseball's getting quickly enough, they have a very solid situation. Indeed, there's the trade, and they have the site. They have to win this. Mouse Sports, the winner of this match, will qualify for the next stage of the major. And Space Soldiers facing the eco reset, moving away from the B bomb site for Mouse Sports players, look likely to survive unless they choose to hunt, then who knows what happens. But they're doing it the hard way, Mouse Sports, if they do it at all. The Space Soldiers have really uh, shown a strong game so far here on Mirage. Paz now at the 30 bomb mark. This is very hard to predict this game. Space Soldiers have been playing really well. It was a very hard half on the CT side for Mao Sports. Only getting a mere five rounds. But you can see that the timing of this push, this pace of this push, really threw Space Soldiers off guard. So the call from Mao Sports in that sense is very good. Yeah, but with speed can also come variants. So I don't know if Mouse Sports are willing to make that kind of play each time. But again, Space Soldiers on buys like these have still been dangerous. It, it isn't the force buy around the saved weapons. This time they are trying to balance things out more as they do have a four-round lead again, but maybe closer to the end of the match, they won't want to play with things so much. Sunny moving very quickly, so it seems it's going to be a B split. And, uh, there is nobody in B itself, but there's no cover for the connector position. Santara is making a play through the smoke. Mystico is up short, so crisis averted, perhaps, unless uh, Space Soldiers choose to go for it. Paz taken out in the market position, and it seems Space Soldiers, that will be enough for them. They'll hold on to these weapons and improve their economy yet more. So just the poor save from Space Soldiers. Will be 12 rounds to Mouse Sports. Only three more required to get to the overtime to get to a chance to qualify for the next stage. But of course, another team will be eliminated at this stage. Major managed to get up short and take away the AK that Frontera has picked off earlier. So that's a great bonus for Space Soldiers. That's, uh, that's quite significant, especially with the aimers on their team. It could make all the difference. Yeah, sometimes, you know, there's 1v1s, M4 versus AK, both players in the at the same time. Well, the AK wins that one. So, <laughs> yeah, it uh, can be very brutal if you don't have it. Nice little flick shot there from Wow, Oscar. that is quite the shot. It needs to continue here for Mouse Sports if they hope to have a chance to come back into this one. And it, I mean, time and again, we've seen from Mouse Sports their ability to maintain composure in these positions to maintain strength to mount comebacks when everything is against them. So there's no reason to doubt them, but also no reason to really doubt Space Soldiers. They've been playing very, very well. I cannot overlook that. Definitely getting... <laughs> Starting to see a level from them, which is closer to what some would have expected, the people who have watched them online over the last few months. Mid-take here from Mouse Sports. Tentative, though. No one top mid, only underpass. Looking for the split onto the A site. That's, where, oh, that's not a happy site, but there at least is a trade frag from Sonny. What can Space Soldiers read from the two players underpass? Maybe not much. Engine looking towards CT in case there was a boost. Not sure what's going on there. Flashes will slow Paz down. He's in a ladder room at the moment, and Sonny's rotating quickly. And again, Majors just, they're just gambling towards the B bomb site, uh, towards the A bomb site, Space Soldiers. They have the read it's going to be there, and they are not incorrect. Kalex in the shadow position, Engine in a position around triple now, and Major towards jungle. It's going to be a huge fight, and now Sports can't afford to lose a super one. Flashbacks there, Engine spotting targets, but it's the kills coming in for Mouse Sports. That's Paz left alone around, around the jungle position. Had a quick look, but maybe thinks better of it. We head to a two round gap now. Stiko's only got eight kills this entire time. You weren't wrong, Dan. Yeah, he had a horrible time on the B-bomb site on the first half. And that's actually, there are some positions when, you know, where, you know normally, like, I think there's like three big rounds where he didn't do an, as much as you would normally expect him. Uh, yesterday, he was anchoring B very well, but 
but today, you know, that he just let people through very quickly. And that's kind of the situation. Like, you need your anchor to be able to basically to delay, get the frag, back and delay. And this was just something that he was unable, unable to do, some in part because of him being unfortunate, but also just him not having the performance we've seen from him um, recently. So, but that's that's okay, you know, that happens. It, it doesn't have to be the case that every single player has the best performance, but somebody has to perform. And Sonny, he's been there for Mouse Sports. Rops has been there, Oscar's been there. So that's that can be enough for them. But same can be said for Space Soldiers, Zantares and Paz really pulling out all the stops. I won't say it's going to come down to one round because Space Soldiers have a dangerous buy. They've got reasonable loss bonus, so they can afford a bit more. Major and Paz being active around the B bomb site, but it looks like Space Soldiers is going to rotate towards B. But now they see the grenades flying towards A. Kalix is going to go for the time being. Santares by the jungle position. Space Soldiers may not be able to really do much in this round. Many moves down. He's getting flashed off in the CT area. He's there on his own. What's getting planted now? Is it really cover for Chris J there? But he was uh, could have the box for the most part. So let's see. Space Soldiers don't really have much to lose in this situation, so they might as well go for it. Major taken down in the middle position and uh, Paz and Zantara move away from the jungle area. Trying to fight Sunny. That's a retrievable weapon, perhaps, as he's there on his own. But he's got a cross, so nothing will be taken into the next and final round of normal time, at least. And there is the timeout call by Space Soldiers to really work out okay, just get everybody get on the same page, everyone reset, get everybody in the right mood and mindset. And I suppose it's really fitting that Major, you know, Engine and, and Major both have the first name Engine because... Here we go. Because Major, you know, he is he is the Major. He's, he's the command, in command of the team, calling all the shots. And so perhaps that is a suitable name for him. And perhaps he can lead his team to victory in the finals, final round in regulation. It's been a very hard affair for both teams. I would say slightly more so from our sports, just you know, because they started on the CT side, and we know that when they have the good start there, that they can just get the ball rolling. But Space Soldiers just played it really well on that T side, made some great calls. And now it's time to find out: Are we going to overtime, or are we going to see Space Soldiers making their way through to the next stage of the major? I'm glad it's not easy. This, if they are to do this, Space Soldiers, it'll put stripes on the chest. Standard start for Space Soldiers, but again, they have been one of these active CT side missiles. Rotating quickly its way. There's already Paz making his way there as well, and it seems Deacon might try and offer something. It looks like he might go for a triple plant if they can get that far with Deacon moving through Biap's apartment, but let's keep going. The success here, jumping through the smoke. Sunny is unsuccessful. Chris J, that is a plant that Deacon can do something about. Major is above him on a short position. Stiko in the underpass, maybe he can cut him off. That's going to be an important one. That's a bad miss from Chris J. Stiko, they're not activated, but he's got the info for his team, and Oscar's rotating as well. So Chris J and Rox backing off backing massively. There's a kill from Stiko, and maybe Space Soldiers realize what's going on, but he is going to go out, which they won't. Oscar is still there, and it looks like we're going into overtime. What a shot from man like Rops. Round number 31 coming up soon. Oh my God, they managed to hold their nerve all the way. That is something that really, like the experience that this lineup has been gathering with the recent events with this lineup that we've seen from Mouse Sports, that is that helps so much in these situations to have the trust, to keep the composure, to not be thwarted by the pressure. And we see Stiko there, again, having a bit of a hard time, still doing his job, making the right plays, and hitting the shots that he needed to in, in the most important moment there. That that flank was completely key. That just shut it down from the, the perspective of Space Soldiers. And now it's on them to keep the composure because you've got a mouse sports that are gonna be feeling good. They just came back from a massive deficit. And again, Let's not forget, Space Soldiers tried to break it up. They were taking tactical timeouts. They were trying to really create as many problems for Mouse Sports as possible. So Mouse Sports, like they've got to be having a slight edge in this situation. Space Soldiers, to appear, they appear to have their composure in check. And the countdown has begun. Many a T-round has been won by Mouse Sports. Will it continue? Is momentum in their favor? All these rounds look close. They look like they're on a knife edge even if they end up being a landslide. Little situations to go either way. Oscar on the AWP. Single sniper for Space Soldiers in the first round. Chris J. 
doesn't have a gun for some reason. Unless I'm wrong. He seems to be running around with a Glock, does he realize? Um, I think he's only just realized that he does not have a weapon. Okay. So uh, he'll have to go and try and get Rops' gun, maybe. So this is interesting. Chris J <laughs> and the Glock. Start. Yeah. Oh, God. Tends to work out. But in the meantime, they're losing players. So very bizarre start to the first round of overtime for the two side. Maybe he was just calling his heart out and just actually just forgot that he has to buy guns in this game. Either way, he can still save the day for his team. It's a 3v5. He's creeping into position. Just has to hit it first. Good shot. Sonny able to take the power out of the jungle. That's perfect for Chris now. Doesn't have to worry about that position. The engine there in the palace spot above Shadow causes problems. But still, Sonny's alive. Stiko's alive as well. But the off angle from Paz being given up as Major covers the position. And that's enough to win the likes of Sonny. This is really not how you want to start an overtime with your in-game leader forgetting to buy a gun. Stiko. He needs to get off this angle quickly. No one is in danger of peeking it, but it's just never a good place to be lying around. Now he has to figure out, he knows that Major got the pick from the market position. You see him drawing the smoke. He knows where Major's likely to be holding an angle. And there is a smoke deployed. Oh, there is a gap in it though. He's got to go fast. I think he might have seen Major. Major has made his way out, holding an angle. He wants around if Stiko going for the pre-fire, smart stuff, but he is in a lot of trouble trying to buy space for himself with the Molotov. I think he threw it a bit too hard. Okay. Maybe nervous. I don't know. Oh, See the communication no. from Space Soldiers. They're lining up for him. Stiko looking for him now. Repositioning. Smart stuff. Great headshot. It's down to Major. The spray is there. Stiko. That is absurd. Redemption. Amazing stuff there from Stiko. And again, it just goes to show, you know, if you have that experience and that composure, you know, you don't have to let a bad performance on a half get to you. Beautiful stuff there, just playing each situation out perfectly, never wavering. Stiko bringing his team back in this. Can you imagine how good Chris J must feel after perhaps feeling a little bit, a little bit embarrassed, perhaps that, you know, before I've even been able to buy a gun, which I now can't because the buy time's over, one of my teammates is dead and I have to pick up his gun. Oh, now another, now another one's dead. So that started out in the most tragic way you could possibly imagine, yet somehow Stiko pulled them out of that pit of despair and impact frags baby impact <laughs> frags <laughs> absolutely and oh my goodness what a beautiful clutch Stiko. yeah he's quickly caught up with his teammates actually that was a great addition Stiko. awesome stuff sir chris j has bought a gun people i can confirm chris j has bought a primary weapon it's true 16 to 15. Mouse Sports take the lead. Something which has been a stranger to them recently. Space Soldiers, they've had so many good reads as to where Mouse Sports are going, but unfortunately it doesn't work out. Major somehow gets a pick with a UMP on the Oscar, who appears to be in a smoke. And in the meantime, there's a response from Mouse Sports, but still it favors Space Soldiers for the time being. But this is moving quickly. That flashbang's absolutely perfect. Chris J gets launched straight into Stiko alone. This time, no Hero X. 16 apiece. Yeah, Mouseball's going for that fast play and being denied. Good hold from Space Soldiers. That's really important. You're in the overtime and you're on the CT side. You never want to lose two rounds of four buys because then you go into the third round feeling a little bit uh, a little bit awkward, not being able to have enough money to actually have the rifles and the sniper rifles that you actually want to play the round out with. And So now they've evaded that situation. Space Soldiers picked up one of the first two and you can see now they can bring themselves into the third round in a very good situation. The pot flash there in case there's any aggression from Oscar. Sonny as well with a second flash also. We've seen this play before. It's really good as well. There's a player pushing short. He looks away from the first flash, gets blinded by the second. Very fast moving up short. Sonny, he's going to get straight. Oh my god, the angles there. Absolutely fantastic. What an opening. It's great development of the round. From all time to overtime. The addition of the flashbang there, a similar play where Zantara's got a pick last time looking for it again, but he's blinded and Sonny got the pick. But this time it isn't a B split, but Major probably knows that because he is deep in B apartment. So again, the remainder of Space Soldiers can focus on the A site, but they know where Sonny was. 
they can assume where Sonny's likely to be, which is why Paz is stuck in this position. So despite Mage's information, the positions around A are still somewhat weak. The Execute's coming in. Sonny can get Paz running away. Sonny can choose to stay there. Look for the rotation from Major. There's lots of things he can do. In the meantime, Rob's picking Kalix off. Engine still in the same position, but look at the double pick from the Mouthport side. War of attrition now. Four versus two. Paz, so many targets, but he can't find enough of them. Oh my god. I have to say that just... The play from Sonny there was just so, so explosive firstly, but then so intelligent. I mean, there was a huge uh, degree of time where he understood, I just have to, I've done my job. I can just stay in this position looking at the vent. And then if we looked at the entire CT setup, they couldn't do anything. He basically created a situation where they lost a huge amount of map control and the defense was so isolated that when his teammates came in, the trade game was just so easy for them. Sonny, beautiful round from him. What an addition to this team. And once again, Space Soldiers are in a, a pretty tough spot. Our sports are really coming back into this one. You've got to credit their heart. Space Soldiers had really good focus throughout this match, but that first uh, round of overtime, that clutch from Mystico, some of their players absolutely exploded. I think they were really annoyed at how they uh, Approach the refake there with two players in the same position, perhaps. I don't know what a timing from, from apartments, but they've got to get their heads back into the game. The T side, where they offered so many uh, nice fakes. Can they get those going again? Mouse Sports are all in on this first buy round with Oscar and Stiko on AWPs. And to be honest, considering how the uh, CT side went for Stiko towards B in, in normal time, it may be the difference maker now. Maybe he can be more effective. Yeah, I mean, Space Soldiers have to be thinking that what they, they start to target B a little bit. That, that they know that that was a bit weaker, that Stiko was having a hard game. But as you say, there's a bit of a difference there. He's feeling a lot better as well. Oscar's going to surely be a bit more confident. Mouse Force now in overtime with money. That's a different beast to Mouse Force in regulation, who were just consistently feeling rather oppressed from an eco economical standpoint. So it's going to be interesting to see how this will play out and what Space Soldiers will do to try to defuse the defense. Kalix starting early on a ramp with the bomb. And there was much presence from Space Soldiers in the middle area. Three, maybe even four players there, but they've all rotated to A. Rops and Oscar, the dynamic duo. Around a ramp already, Sonny in the shadow position. Rops keeping an eye on CT just in case there's a flank there, but will he stay there while this grenade executor set up? Chris J is pushing apartments. Stiko's surely going to start rotating, yes. He's got the AWP, he should go to short, and he's doing that. Despite the smokes going down, he can rattle off some shots. Sonny in the ninja position as the first kill from Oscar, in fact. And Sonny's delivering the second one. Santares will take him down. But again, there are two players in CT already. Oscar is waiting for an opportunity. And those angles! He'll oh, get taken down. Santares once again. Chris J on the flank. Paz looking for it. So many things going on here. Stiko with the AWP on short. And the, this is such an important 1v1. If Chris can open this up, it really cripples the soldiers. And Paz will defend. Still a chance here for Mouse Force as they come back in. But Paz has done a very important job indeed. Kalix to polish it off there with the, another frag. And it's just now Rox who's left alive. He's seen, been playing very well so far. But this might be a bit too much to ask. The bomb soon to detonate. And Kalix with the wide peak will finish him off. And tying things up here. Strong round from Space Soldiers. Despite the opening two kills that Mouse Force provided, they were still able to finish with strength. Now we will see the implication of buying two orbs in the first round of overtime. Mouse Sports will have no money left, more or less, after this buy. So if they lose this round, I would say they are extremely likely to lose the match, as good as their comeback has been. Oscar with the solo sniper this time. Chris J trying to make a play through the middle area. Kalix setting up a smoke towards A, which I do wonder where it will go. Somehow Chris J makes it towards the connector position through the window. It's a late play from Space Soldier. He's had to abandon that. He's going around in a circle, leaving Oscar alone, looking for an entry. Only moving up short at the moment, rattling off shots, but he'll have to abandon that position. Also going to jungle. Mouse sports don't really know what's going on. Again, these T executes from, the, from Space Soldiers have been good. And at the moment, it's a guessing game. Will we see a repeat? This time it's Stiko making a play through B apartments, but will they go deep enough to find out that it's probably A? And Sonny's changed his position. He's playing much closer to the pit, which is can be very good, but you would expect Space Soldiers to have the pop flash or the Molotov to help them deal with any close players. 
Otherwise, Sonny could really dismantle this push. He is so key here for Mouse Boss. Goes in with a flashbang. Absolutely crushed by Major. Doesn't find the timing he needed. And then the flick comes in to deal with Rob, sending him off into the distance there. Is this five player still standing for Space Soldiers as they complete the bomb plot and take the A site? Mouse Sports have a decision to make. If they save these weapons, maybe they can offer something in the next round. Three versus five retake. They don't know how red these Space Soldiers players are. And indeed, they have to take the safer play. If they go for the retake and fail, that's pretty much GG. You might as well start typing in the keyboard. Making their way into B apartments now. They have to hold all these weapons. Calix knows the implications of eliminating these players. Look at the hunt. The Hunger Games have begun. This battle Royale. Get your subtitles on. I'll leave the commentary to Space Soldiers now. Yes, <laughs> Major's just going hammer. This is weird. So great to hear. Well, now it's time for Space Soldiers to finish the job, or perhaps for Mouse Sports to send us into another overtime. This is far from over. I love how both teams are going from strength to strength. We've seen Mouse Sports fight against all the odds and somehow overcome them. We've seen Space Soldiers do the very same. Which team will break first? This has turned out to be an incredible match between these two sides who look intimately familiar with this map. So, what a game. Lots of discussion from Space Soldiers. Again, their T sides have been enjoyable to watch. They've been engaging in this match so far and Mouse Sports almost seem confused. Thanks to saving their weapons, the CT side of quite a reasonable buy, all things considered. Rops on a FAMAS though, not what you want to see. Such an important player on DA site. He'll be playing close. Sonny run connector, Chris J on short. Traditional setup for Mouse Sports to kick things off. Now we'll keep an eye on what Space Soldiers have in mind for them. Many tricks in their bag, Space Soldiers. Again, starting passive on top mid, and that's where Chris J and Sonny are slowly creeping. Will they just hold this position, though? Where will Oscar go? And g again, quickly going back to the uh, previous round, when the execute came in from Space Soldiers, Oscar was in CT spawn looking at the crawl space, which is not where you want him. That's such a long rotation, no matter where he goes. That's a lack of impact, and that is an impact. Santares. The star man Ooh. for Space Soldiers. Great shot from Major as well. Patience paying off. Mouse Boss are in a lot of trouble. That was beautiful cover. That the bait set up fantastic. This, as you say, it could all be over soon for Mouse Boss. Down three against five. Space Soldiers with 50 seconds to play with. Still a decent chunk of time. The lack of map control now that they've gotten two kills doesn't really matter for them. They go together now. Whichever site they pick, they are surely going to be good to go. They just must leave themselves enough time so they're not, they're not too rushed and so they can do a proper job here. 30 seconds and they're creeping through the B apartments. If Steeko can delay here, get a couple frags, maybe, just maybe, there could be a chance, but everybody good timing. There's one for Steeko. What else can he get? Traded out by Engine, a very hard spot for him. Has he done enough? That's the question. Robson and Oscar are what's left here from our sports. Already through the apartments, Oscar now the last man standing, one versus four, so many targets for him, he can only get one, Space Soldiers do it the hard way, 19 to 17, losing the lead in overtime, they bring it back, a monstrous performance, especially on the T side from Space Soldiers, marvellous stuff from them, and they make